Hi everyone, this is Miles from Quadcopter Land, and today we're going to be doing an obstacle avoidance test on the blind spots of the Phantom 4 Pro. What we consider the blind spots are right here where the sensors are not facing. So we're going to try that today. I had a couple of viewers that requested I do this obstacle avoidance test, and also we're going to do it today in the P mode, which is the standard mode. Now in the P mode, you only get the obstacle avoidance on the front and rear sensors. I'm going to go ahead and recap and let you guys know that the 360 degree obstacle avoidance, which is the side sensors, the front and rear sensors, and the bottom sensors only work in the beginner and the tripod mode. So we're going to start off our first test today in the tripod mode, and then we're also going to show these blind spots here and see how well the blind spots work. So let's stick around, and let's go ahead and put this bird to the test. So our first test today is to see if it flies. It's a little uh, breezy out today, but we're going to go ahead and try going in sideways on this tree and see if it picks it up. It is picking it up, but it's a little bit late, but it did pick it up. Let's try it again. As you can hear that, it did pick it up, but it's a little late. We're going to try it on this blind spot again. It is picking up a little bit late, so you need to be careful on that one. Okay, we're going to try going into this caution gas pipeline. And uh, let's see if it goes in sideways. It is not picking it up. So those blind spots, you got to be careful. Let's try it on the other side. Let's bring it in. It looks like it only picks it up when it's on the side, and then when you turn it, it's still blocking me. So it does somewhat work, but you still got to be careful. Let's bring it back. We're going to try it again. So let's take it in one more time. It's a little breezy out here today, but we're going to give it a shot. It did pick it up that time. That's pretty good. So that did work. Okay, we are in the tripod mode, going sideways, see if we'll detect this tree going sideways. See if we get these branches or anything. It is picking it up, but uh, it's a little late on these, on these uh, blind spots. So let's turn it the other way. See if it picks it up that way. It did pick it up that time, so that's pretty good. All right, we're going to try this pole over here and see if it hits it at a 45 degree angle. Let's bring it in. Oh, it stopped pretty early. Wow. Let's try that again. Let's bring it in. It must be picking up some of the stuff in front of it. It looks like it's picking up the uh, weeds that's in front of it. So it depends on what's around it. It looks like it'll, it picks up pretty well. All right, we're going to try to go at a 45 degree angle into this branch. See if it picks it up. It is not picking it up. So you gotta be careful on these blind spots. I'm gonna bring it back around. I'm gonna try the other side. See if it picks it up. It is not picking it up. So you have to be absolutely careful when you're flying. I can tell you now, this obstacle avoidance in these blind spots maybe only work about 30% of the time. Okay, we're going to do our first P-Mode test. We're going to try to see if we go in at a good speed on P-Mode. No, it's not letting me. So we're going to bring it back. We're going to try going a little faster this time. I'm pushing it uh, full speed ahead. It stopped. That's really good. We'll try this one more time. Let's try it from the side. Let's bring it back. Now I am no longer in the beginner mode. I am in the P mode, which is the regular mode. Go sideways. It did not pick up. <laughs> so you gotta be careful. It doesn't pick up on the side. So that's an example of showing you guys it does not work on the P mode. Do it rear facing, bring it forward, and then I'm gonna bring it back at full speed. See if it picks up from the rear. It picked up perfect. Let me give you guys a word of advice. P mode does not work that well on trees. Just giving you some examples. I'm flying in a tree right now and it's almost hitting the branches. It's not working. 
So I do not recommend flying MP mode right in the trees. All right, we're gonna see if the Phantom 4 picks up in P mode with this lamp post. It did pick it up. I'm gonna bring it back again. Let's go ahead and give it another shot. It looks like it does a pretty good job. Wow, I picked it up real good that time. Let's go ahead and try it one more time. Now in the P mode, remember the side sensors do not work. It looks like these sensors work real well. Let's see if we can run straight to this brick wall in P mode. Uh, it's not letting me. Let's try it again. I'm in P mode now. I'm not in the beginner mode, so I'm gonna bring her in full speed. See if it let me hit this wall. It won't let me hit the wall. That's pretty good. Well, thanks guys for watching. One thing I can say, I definitely recommend you guys use your own instincts when flying this Phantom 4 Pro so you don't crash your own $1,500 bird. One thing I can say, in these blind spots from the tests I can see today, it only works about 30% of the time. I suggest you definitely use your own instincts because in the tripod mode, in the beginner mode, you got a 360 degree obstacle avoidance. But once again, with these blind spots, they don't pick up all the time. And as far as the front and rear sensors, they work really well in the P mode, but you still need to be careful. As you can see with those tree branches, they didn't pick up very well. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video that I showed you today and some of the other videos, part one and part two. And I really hope that I gave you all the information that you guys need. And hopefully I fulfilled some of the uh, wishes that some of the viewers uh, requested as far as the blind spot test goes. If you like the information I gave you, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thank you.